Welcome to InTest Thermal Solutions video training. My name is Trey Moore. This course is going to cover how to set up, operate, and troubleshoot a liquid nitrogen cooled thermal chamber. Before we go any further, it is important that we discuss safety. This course is not intended to be a safety training course. You should follow all of your local, state, and federal safety guidelines when working with high voltage chemicals or industrial equipment. Furthermore, you should also follow all of your organization's safety procedures. Throughout this course, there may be times when personal protective equipment, PPE, will inhibit the demonstration. For example, if I were wearing a face shield, you may have a hard time hearing me speak. And if I were wearing heavy gloves, you may have a hard time seeing what I'm trying to demonstrate. We strongly recommend you wear your PPE at all times and avoid skin contact with cryogenic liquids. In addition to PPE, here are a few other safety recommendations. Concerning electrical safety, we suggest that you don't wear any watches, rings, or jewelry when working around the equipment. Also, ensure the equipment is properly grounded and make sure the facility power matches the equipment nameplate. Keep the chamber door closed whenever not at ambient temperatures. The exhaust temperatures of the chamber could be anywhere between minus 185 and 500 degrees Celsius. Because of this, please don't block the exhaust. Also, if you make any facility connections to the exhaust, the connection should be at the same temperature rating as the equipment. Beware of asphyxiation hazards when working with cryogenic exhausts and gases. All rooms should be properly vented, and if there's any question, an oxygen monitor should be used.